unboxing guys of Sparky's favorite food. Here we go. Mm. Very nice guys. But I paid a pretty penny for this. And I think I must have spent $19 for shipping. I want to say it was like $41. So I'm going to get each one of them out of here. Open it with one hand. And show you the worms. There they are. They look really, really good healthy. I'm quite happy with that bunch. So what I want to do is get this poo-poo cleaned out and turn them upside down. So let's go to the next one. And gee, I hope they're all good. Hmm. This is awesome. Guess what? They have given the different sizes. Now, I really appreciate that. See the wee little baby ones? So this gives Sparky a chance to scarf down one whole thing of them. And this gives them a chance to grow. I very much like that. I very much like that. Okay. So let's see the third. Very nice. Very, they all look healthy. There's different sizes. I like that very much. So you want to feed the larger ones, of course, unless you have little babies that can't eat the larger ones. But most likely, even a baby turtle can tackle these because these are are soft. They're not like having uh, trying to eat a uh, a super worm that's a little bit more um, <clears throat> tough skinned. Hey guys, uh, you want to as soon as you get your horn worms, you want to clean them out. Okay, I'm just using a paper plate, tapping the poop out on. Um, the paper plate. See how nice and clean that is now? And see how easy that was? And then you just take and I use these little tweezer type things that's um, tongs that's for specifically for um, reptile feeding of um, live feeders. So I'm just going to get these little babies back in here and I have a few little pieces on the side here I have to stop and clean off any that sticks to the side of the poo. So now that's all ready to go and then you want to take and knock them down so that when you put the lid on them that you don't that you don't squish them around the rim okay then I will show you the last phase here as soon as I get the rest of these done okay uh, this one some of the little poop was really, really small and was sticking to um, the um, feed at the base of it. So I used a spoon. Uh, probably the other end would have actually even been better by being flat. And then you can just scrape any that sticks to the feed, the food. Also, another thing I wanted to add, each time that you clean one of these out, you want to dump your paper plate 
um, of the poop from the previous uh, cup. And now I'm ready to dump this out. And this is hard to do this with one hand. But I also want to make a point that it explains here on the, on the uh, back of this that you want to turn these over and I'm going to show you the next step in a minute. And best bet is don't do like I just did um, and, and touch this against the um, paper plate because what happens, you're going to have some of the poo stick to it. And that was because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing and I'm trying to do this with one hand to show you. So you shake it and you can also tap something on the edge of this, uh, like a knife or whatever, to, um, to jar it loose a little bit better, which is what I'll have to do. Okay, there's the last batch cleaned up, and you want to also clean behind the areas here uh, as best you can. I missed a little bit there, which i got to do a little better. And basically, you just want to clean it up good. You just want to clean the poo out of the um, containers. And just look here, guys, how much from that one cup. Okay, guys, they're all cleaned up, ready to go. Uh, the directions here it tells you to turn them upside down, I believe. Um, position cup so that the food is up and the lid is facing down. That's in the first sentence and this is an absolute fantastic way to do it because as they poop it'll drop right into the lid so it'll keep it separated from the um, fr from the food. Uh, so they can't do that while they're shipping it because then um, they might um, cut off the air and you want to have it on a rack. You gotta have it on a rack so that the air flow can come up underneath. So that's it guys.